Hi, in this video, you are going to learn how to master a pen tool in Adobe Photoshop CC 2020. Okay, let's start. Let us press P to activate the pen tool or you can choose this icon to activate it. Before placing point inside the grid, we should make sure that we press the left mouse button and keep the point here. And keeping this left mouse button hold just drag the handles downwards place the next point inside the grid you can see a curve has been formed let me release my left mouse button and just click it here so that a shape is formed now i'm going to teach you the other method to draw exactly the same shape like this It's just a square. Okay, let me move this pen tool towards this point, and you can see the pen tool is getting converted into delete anchor point tool. You can see a minus symbol near the pen tool. So let me show that to you. It is this this one. So let me use this to delete this point and this point. Now you can see it's just a single line. I'm going to move this point towards in this place. So I'm going to press the control key. Okay. So what happens when I press the control key? This pen tool gets converted to a direct selection tool. Let me bring this point to here. So you can move anywhere inside the grid with the help of control key being pressed. Let me release it. Okay. This is cool. Now, now let me go to this point and press alt key now it gets convert into convert point tool let me show that here it's a convert point tool let me go back to this point and press alt key from your keyboard so that it gets convert into convert point tool once it's get converted while holding the alt key just drag it like this so it's cool right so it's the same shape with the new method so let us go for the next shape with okay let's go for the same shape with the next method let me place a point here and drag the handles like this let me place the next point and drag the handles upward okay let me complete this shape by clicking it here okay now let me go to this point and press the alt key and just okay let me do let me go to this point press the alt key and just release it yeah so this is another method to draw the same shape so you guys try this and let me know this feedback in the comment section Okay, let me arrange this all properly so that I can teach you the non uniform and uniform curves. Okay, keeping the pen tool selected, let me go for the uniform and non uniform curves. So let me place a point here and drag the handles like this. Let me place the next point so that my so that I get a curve downwards. Let me place a point. You saw the curve is coming upwards, so let me drag this point downwards. It's the opposite direction. Let me place a point here. The curve will come downwards, so you will you need to move this point upwards. It's cool, right? Okay. Let me shape it properly, place it properly. Okay. Let me choose the pen tool again. It got deselected. Let me press escape so that I will come out of this shape. Yeah, it's cool. Let me place a point here. Drag the handles. Let me place a point here. Drag the handles upwards. And this time, you're not going to place a point here. Before placing a point here, you need to go to this point and press the Alt key so that it get converts into Convert Point tool and bring it downwards. Okay, now it's cool. Let me place a point here and move it upwards. Let me place a point here 
and yeah so we just left out this right so I, i'm just going to do undo by pressing ctrl z let me press the alt key and bring it down and place a point here and move it upwards so it's done okay try this uniform and non-uniform shapes using a pen tool and tell your feedback in the comment section hi i'm going to teach you how to draw some shapes using a pen tool let me place the points like this and let me go to the center of this line. I can see the pen tool is getting converted into a at anchor point tool, which you can see it from here. It's it comes default. So just click it at the centers of all the lines. And let me press the control key so that the, my pen tool gets converted into a direct selection tool and bring this point towards the center. Similarly, do for the other points okay it's done let me bring it a little bit upwards okay it's fine okay let me choose the pen tool again and draw a another shape okay so let me quickly do this and now this time i'm going to bring the center one to the middle like this and bring the center point middle point to the center middle point towards the center okay so we have a new shape now let us go for the third one this time i'm going to use this pattern i'm going to add a point at this this center of it of this line okay once that is done let me press the control key bring it like this make sure you always press the control key so that the pen tool gets covered into a direct selection tool and this is done okay now let me go for the next one and place it at the middle like the previous one okay this time I'm going to press the control key and bring this middle to the center this middle to the center this middle to the center and this one to the center yeah so you guys can try this type of shapes and give me the feedback in the comment section hi let me teach you how to draw a heart in in an easy way just let me place a point here another point here and drag the handle towards the right and a point somewhere here and here and here. okay it doesn't look heart in shape because we have not yet completed so let me come to this place and you can see that the pen tool is getting converted into an add anchor point tool. So let me place a point here and with the help of control key, it gets converted into a di direct selection tool. Let me pla place this point here. Okay, so half of it is done. So let me go to this move tool and place on it and use alt key to make a duplicate selection of this. Once this is done, I'm going to use control T to transform this since it's it's in the opposite shape so let me right click on it and use flip horizontal once that is done let me bring it somewhere here and let me change the color yes so let me change the color of this shape shape six let me choose the pen tool because we have the fill layer in that let me choose the color and similarly this is shape six let me choose the pen tool and choose the color okay it's cool right okay so guys Try it and tell me the feedback in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel 3D Multimedia. Bye.